Hi everyone, I'm Megan Benanti and I've got your reading for you today. So this reading is going to be for our hanged man empresses. So if your date of birth adds up and reduces to 12, which is the hanged man, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 is the empress. So this reading will apply for you. Okay, so hanged man empresses. Um, first, one of the things I really want you to focus on this month um, it's either going to be relationship with your children, if you have kids or pets, um, and really being open and childlike in your ideas about what you can bring to the situation. So, um, you know, in your relationships, it's just having this wonderfully receptive ability to work hard, to play hard, to love freely. Um, and be open and honest and genuine in that. You might also be looking to receive that and, and embody someone or embrace somebody being that way. And so um, there's just a lot of positive energy around your relationships to focus on this month. But be playful, be youthful, and enjoy yourself in it. Um, now with your career, uh, there is a sense that maybe you're wondering about some closure there and maybe it's not happening yet. Also, if you were hoping for a bonus, it doesn't feel like this, there's a lot of strength in that. Um, I'm not sure that the company is feeling particularly stable for you this month. And, um, you know, you're seeing shifts there and um, holidays also seem to have triggered some kind of difficulty for the business and so you're also seeing the repercussions of that. Um, so kind of hang in there with your works, keep focused and keep your intentions on where you wanna go with that long term. Um, now, ooh, what you can accomplish. All right, well, I've gotta say, we might be doing a little shopping. Um, so this particular Queen of Cups energy and the deck that I selected for you today, I kid you not, it's the Couture Tarot, so. <laughs> um, but, you know, I've got this real glamour girl and she's very androgynous as well, which I also just kind of love. Um, since so much of our culture is moving in that direction. And um, so, uh, you know, it's about self-care, it's about um, pampering yourself a little bit, um, and also getting an organized and emotionally like getting yourself back together again. Um, you know, the holidays were probably a little draining for you, which isn't bad. It just, it's like, okay, I gotta recoup. So this is emotionally filling yourself back up, getting that necessary sleep that you need. Um, I don't want you spending hours and hours at the mall. However, if you find a good deal on a, um, a glamorous or luxury piece, this is the time to buy it. And with your Empress Nature, you are all about that luxury stuff. And so, you know, um, I'm not going to be, I would encourage you just that one thing, but don't overdo it and don't stress yourself financially over it because otherwise you're depleting yourself again. So, um, so that's part of that energy. Um, now it's interesting with work, there is some making amends that's happening around there. So some level of forgiveness that's going on and perhaps this is you forgiving someone else or perhaps somebody allowing or giving you forgiveness for maybe a boundary you overstepped. I, if you overstepped one, I feel like you didn't know you overstepped it and dang, you stepped on a landmine. Um, it was like, oh, holy cow, you just walked through the minefield and didn't even know it. So, um, you know, that was a growing point for you. And I, I know there's part of you, I feel like they're is feeling a little foolish in that. Um, but it's okay. This is how we learn. We learn from our worst mistakes. And no matter how embarrassing they are, the, the bigger the lesson is. Um, so I do see some uh, good sense of accomplishment and moving forward from that difficulty um, that has occurred. Um, let's see. Um, I've got challenge for you um, surrounded by King of, well, it's King of Pentacles energy. So it um, feels like we're looking at a man. Um, this can be a boss for you for sure. Um, he's got challenge with him. He's leader. He's got leadership. Um, 
He's definitely got some entitlement. And I would say in this case, his focus isn't 100% clear. It's certainly not on you. Um, but you've got to navigate working with this person. And I was just, their ego is huge, <laughs> which I don't normally associate with this card. But I'm the way I'm looking at it, it was like, oh, yeah, totally. Um, so... Uh, do the best you can with this person. Um, one of the things this person is going to respect is hard work. And, um, it, you know, I said it's a boss, but this is in your personal air, at your personal life area as well. So this could be a family member, father figure, um, or the person that you're dating. Um, work hard. This person gets hard work. They're, they are diligent. They will understand that. Um, so uh, that's going to help you to kind of get through that situation. Um, now, the other area is you're still trying to figure out this work stuff. And I've got judgment in reverse. I'm like, you're just having a hard time navigating the system there. And, you know, I really think you got thrown off with that landmine situation that you stepped into. Um, and if I, you know, what is the bigger picture there for you? Do you feel like you fit in? It's okay to question whether this is the right fit for you. Um, I, I see the company has stability, but I'm not sure if you feel stable there. And so, you know, this month is going to be about facing some of those insecurities. Um, you know, there is something about fake it till you make it. Um, and there is something about, you know, realizing when things aren't great for us. So, you know, I feel like you're really kind of getting clear on that this month. And that's going to help you to move forward um, when it comes into February next month to kind of make a clearer decision there. I will say you do have a lot of transformation here. And so that's important because that means you're growing. Even though you might feel a little bit stuck, this isn't none of this energy is stagnant, stuck energy. Um, it's just a lot of processing, a lot of thinking, and even some feeling that's happening. Um, all right, so surprises for you. Mm, okay, well, um, you got a little conflict in your personal life. Surprise, surprise, huh? Um, <laughs> so I want you to consider how you're going to navigate this. Both of you are, can be very entitled. So you're an empress, maybe you're with an emperor. Um, so, you know, it's it, as long as you both want to win, there's not going to be a resolution. So, like, pick your battles. This is one I feel like you've got to let go of. So, um, and knowing that should really ease the discomfort of the situation. So, just kind of move forward and be prepared to navigate that. And, um, and don't be obstinate. So, um, ooh, but work has a good surprise for you, and I love that. Um, and it feels like you might even have a little bit of extra break time. I don't know what that's about, if that's extra vacation days um, or what the situation is, but it's like, oh, time off and I can rest and recover. And there, again, more about transformation here, but this is in such a, a more positive way. It's very gentle, it's playful. Um, there's also a sense of maybe getting more rest as well. Um, so whatever pops up at work is going to be kind of a blessing for you. And I also want you to know that's that might be just being shown some of the appreciation for the work that you've done despite, you know, maybe making a mistake. I mean, we all have to make those mistakes. So um, now I love what you're bringing to your relationship this month. And that is the ability to not just to forgive, but to, to get out of the other person's way, to take a step backward, to not be overbearing, um, to see them for who they really are. And so you're, you've got this beautiful gift you can give your partnership this month um, or the relationship that you choose. Um, and know that it, it's not about perfection. It's just about saying, hey, I really see what that means to you, and I'm going to take the time to acknowledge that. Um, so that's beautiful and super powerful, and those are the moments of engagement that really make a relationship last. Okay, now, um, ooh, self-care. I think we're planning a vacation. 
Um, so yeah, I can definitely see there's ideas about travel this month. Um, now the travel might not be this month. Um, it could be more for like July, although I'm feeling something in April as well, which could be a long weekend, but you are definitely looking more at traveling and not having, um, uh, not being stuck inside an entire, another entire year. It's like, nope, gotta do something by the summer. Um, so push yourself forward. Um, this, you know, you're an empress, a luxury trip can be totally your jam. Although a hangman energy can be much more casual and like, let's just minimize and make the best of it. Um, so, uh, you know, you've got a couple of options there. I did pick a pretty glamorous deck, but it might be that the one on the four in April, the fourth month is more about just having a good time and not so fancy. And maybe you do want to do a bigger trip that includes a bit of luxury for you. Um, lots about uh, change in, in your self-care routine as well. So be open to what change is going to look like to improve your life. Um, so because I, I feel like this is getting out also, this is going to bring in physical activity, very cardiovascular based. So um, push yourself, um, roller skates, roller blades, um, bicycles, things with wheels, certainly open to that, although I even have a boot here. So, you know, that brings in shoes and just good old running. Um, but don't be afraid to get out and get active. That's gonna be a key element for you. And I can feel that you might also be leaning out a little bit, so, um, but keep your intentions in that direction. All right, so, and then, um, the way that I want you to kind of focus on paying it forward for this month of January is um, it's not about money. It's about acknowledging your own shortcomings and how you see those in other people. And so, you know, when you see someone suffering in the ways that you have suffered, um, whether it's feeling sorry for yourself or, um, dang, that person has bad back pain. I can really see they're hurting. Um, or, man, I've been in that kind of job and it just is so unfulfilling. It's gonna be paying forward in those ways. So anything that ever made you feel insecure, I want you to acknowledge someone else in this month. Um, and it doesn't have to be big, just small things here and there to uh, make them feel better and build them up. And so it's helping them work through an insecurity that you've already overcome, or maybe still working through, but um, you know, you've learned a lot already. So that's part of it. All right, folks, so that is it for uh, January of 2021. Please feel free to post any positive feedback or constructive criticism uh, below. I'm always open to new ideas and the directions these need to head. Um, I'm still working out kinks on technology and I'm kind of I'm new to YouTube um, and working on my iPad, but I've been on Instagram for a while and I've been reading for over 20 years. So I will also try to get all of that information up here for people to have a review of if they're wondering who the heck is this girl? So, um, and you can also check me out on my website at tarotdallas.com. All right, thanks for joining me everyone, bye-bye.